I'm a suspect. Hanging with the killers in the projects. Tater on the barrel, keep quiet. Catch a nigga slipping from behind. OG, Bobby, Josh. OG, Bobby, Josh. OG, Bobby, Josh. OG, Bobby, Josh. He gone, y'all. He gone. Oh, Lord. They done took him. They done took him. Damn, damn, damn. Why you have to do it, Lord? Bring him back to me, Lord. <laughs> it wasn't his time to go. I love him so. Y'all, they done killed off Unique's character. And I can't take it. Joy Badass was so fine and sexy these last two and a half seasons. Whew. He was over there dicking down rock. And I was over here fantasizing, wishing it was me. Whoo, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Why they do it, Lord? He ain't did nothing to nobody. All he did was cheat a little bit. Ronnie got to go. Ronnie got to go. That Steve Urkel, Steve Jobs looking mofo got to go. Okay. Anybody that walk around with rimmed glasses and a Lacoste jacket is crazy. Okay. He looked like he probably got on a pair of kids. All right. Yeah. I don't like Ronnie over there ruining families and lives. Let your brother cheat in peace. Let him cheat in peace, Ronnie. You mad because you ain't getting no poo on me? Because don't nobody want your crazy tail? Shoot. Go eat a box of cereal and sit down somewhere. Watch Jeopardy. Shoot. Get on my nerves. Neek tried to give you the little Chinaman <laughs> to go and sell your little narcotics out of there. No. He was too good for that. He ain't want that. That was some BS to him. You know? Just trifling. Then you gonna go and run and tell his baby mama that he over there giving Rock the pipe. And I ain't talking about the crack pipe. I'm talking about that dick pipe. Okay? And she know her about to lose her mind. That man can't even eat his sandwich in peace without her. So you over there fucking with that B? That's why you ain't been at home, huh? He like, what is you talking about, ma? Can I eat my peanut butter and jelly in peace? Every time I come home, all the nigga is on my own. Don't nobody want to hear all that. Now you wonder why I be gone all the time. Don't I take care of you? Don't you and little Neek Neek got everything y'all could possibly want or desire? Can't a man be a man? Shoot. But low key, Rock look way better than her anyway. She kind of funny looking. But um, what else happened in this episode? So Lou trying to wean himself off the alcohol. He's not drinking as much. The little old rickety lady up there at the bar, you know, she decided to put her cup down too in solidarity. You know, he trying to be clear headed, trying to, you know, Get this bar up and situated. They had a little open mic night. You know, Famous came through and blessed the mic real quick with a little bibbity boppity boop. You know, he he killed it. And that girl that got up on stage killed it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Famous and Kanan going through a little beef right about now. They ain't vibing with each other because he got knocked by the popos. They was questioning him about uh old boy getting, you know, pow pow. And he admitted to Kanan that he was the one that did it. And Kanan was like, look, you need to keep that to yourself. Don't repeat that ish to yourself, nobody else, and especially not me, okay? Because I got to make sure that I keep this good thing going and you ain't about to mess up me and my hustle with your stupidity. And Famous looking at him like, I know you lying and I done gave you a place to lay your head when you ran away from home and I mess up. And now I'm all kind of dumb and stupid. I'm on the little yellow short bus. I'm in special ed. And now you too good for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought we were supposed to be brothers. 
I thought we were supposed to be boys. You know, I felt bad for Famous a little bit. You know, he already a crackhead. So we already know where that storyline going. He about to be out here real bad. And Ronnie pressed Kane in this episode about, you know, selling heroin. He was like, who said something about heroin? Who said that? What? Uh-uh. Back up off me. Pop into a, a Mentos. <laughs> get you a Mentos, my brother, and get up out my face. But I don't think it's the end of Ronnie and Kanan at all. Um, I think he's going to end up, like, threatening or kidnapping or hurting Kanan. I really see that happening. Uh, and that's what's really going to force Rock to really get back out here on her thug thizzle. You know, the police is over there messing with Rock. They trying to get her to, you know, pay them money to protect her, even though she needs protecting from them because them crackers is the one that's vandalizing her business. And she realizing it's harder to be on the straight and narrow than it is to be a criminal nowadays. Shoot. You know, Marvin tried to talk some sense into her to make up with Lou. She ain't having it. She on some loot type shit you know what i'm saying she act just like a mammy act just like a mama even though she can't stand her luda went over there to his mama's the house get some of his daddy old blues records and she was like oh so now you want to pop up don't nobody come and check up on me your sister didn't cut me off ain't nobody helping me around her i need to go to the grocery store and get some comet some apple juice some baloney, and ain't nobody helping me. So he break off a little some some, and she was like, "You gonna end up just like your daddy." And he, he she was, she said something to the effect of like, "The music life gonna kill you just like it did him." And he was like, "That ain't what killed him." <coughs> I'm looking at that bitch in the mirror. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was you that killed daddy, all right? Hmm. How about that? What's her name? Uh, Jukebox over there in the um discount version, <laughs> off the rack, clearance rack version of TLC. One of her little band members can't get the, the step. She about to get $5 fined and get put out the group. They little manager, she got to go because she thinks she pebbles. And I'm already going, I'm already seeing where this going to go. She going to pop off at that mouth a little bit too much. And uh, Jukebox going to have to give her that bop, 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 that bink, bink in the mouth real quick and let her know who she's talking to. Like, you don't, you don't really know about me. What you know about me? What, what you know about me? Huh? My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. Yeah, that's what's going to end up happening right there. Um, also she started to crush on her little band member a little bit. She told her she was a lesbian. You know, she liked to play in kitty cats. The little girl didn't say whether or not she liked to play in kitty cats, but a part of me felt like she low key did. But when Kanan pull up at the little, uh, open mic, he'd get on her and jukebox give the blessing or whatever. She was like, nah, that ain't me, you know, but she a good girl. Make sure you don't F her over. But low key, she was in her fee-fees because she wished that it was her. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I still, a part of me feel like something still going to happen between her and old girl. Like they going to kiss or something. Like something going to end up happening. I also feel like by the end of this season, the rift between her and... Kana is going to start to really form because they already if you paid attention have started to separate them they don't spend time with each other like they used to they don't really talk to each other like they used to <clears throat> so the rift is already starting to form between Kana and jukebox but um I think it's gonna get worse by the end of this season I think going into season four it's gonna be all out beef between them where we're going to finally get to see like what is that thing that jukebox did that severed their relationship forever you know what i'm saying oh no what canaan did to jukebox this ever i forgot who did what to who but whatever y'all know what i'm talking about 
uh, I think next season is when that whole situation is going to go into full effect. Um, rest in peace to my baby daddy, Neek. Uh, we had a wonderful relationship, a wonderful time together. I will cherish all of our memories with his fine self. You know, he had to go run up on his brother and give him that one, two to the dome. You know, he beat his ass real quick. Let him know he the man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no little kid no more. You ain't about to look nigga me. And what Ronnie do on some bitch shit, gonna pick up a pole and beat his brother to death. All because he ain't got no hands. He got to pick up a weapon. Cause he a, you know what I'm saying? Now it'll be a miracle if we got to see Neek open them eyes after being dumped in the middle of the forest. But I don't really think that's happening. I think it's it's time for his character to go on bye bye. Even though I loved him, but I think it's now time for that new villain to come into play. And I think Ronnie is the perfect villain. Um, it would be stupid for them to get rid of Ronnie this season. Um, I would more so like to see them get rid of Ronnie maybe next season because he's a great villain um another death for this season of course to be what's her name juliana rock gonna get rid of her um i see her going this season like i said i see jukebox effing up the manager um might even knock her off too because of her mouth um she might even slap the beyonce of the group uh who else do i see getting pow pow this season um, I see Famous really becoming a full-blown crackhead this season. I see Kanan, like, getting kidnapped or something. I really honestly do. Um, by Ronnie, uh, I think that's it that I could think of off the top of my head. But, yeah, episode five was great. I did not see them unaliving Neek. Um, so that was a great ending to the episode. Only thing about the episode that I did not like is that I wish that they would have cor uh coordinated and um choreographed, I'm sorry, the fight scene between Neek and Ronnie a little bit better. Like that one part where he threw the punch and then like Ronnie like grabbed him and like slung him on the couch was a little sloppy to me. Um they should have read did that scene or reshot it or whatever and i just wish it would have been more brutal the fight before we got to the hitting him with the pole i feel like more should have been added to it to get us to that part you know because earlier in the episode he was like my brother ain't going nowhere when it came to juliana so you know what i'm saying like so i don't know but other than that great episode neek will be missed um me and my baby gonna hold down the streets for him I'm going to rep him for life. I'm going to get his name tattooed on my titty so people can know what's up. And I can't wait for next week's episode. It looks like it's going to be lit. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the episode down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.